Hey guys, today is Saturday, 15th, 16th, November 16th already, almost Turkey Day, almost Christmas, almost New Year's. Anyway, um, I got up this morning to the dreaded service air suspension immediately. And I'm going to show you what I did, thankfully. It was correctable without replacing anything expensive. I'm going to show you what I did to correct that issue. So quite honestly, I'll be 100% honest in this video as I really try to be all the time. The first thing I should have checked was the fuse, but I didn't. It's, for, for what I thought the symptoms were, it wasn't a fuse because I had error messages on the dash. Long story short, this fuse had popped. And if I remember correctly, the fuse location here is five, I'm sorry, F05, which is here, where these two wires that I put in are going. So after dinking around with this for quite a while, I thought, you know what, it's time to check the fuse, and it was blown. Now, it's my understanding that this system is supposed to be charged with nitrogen to avoid any moisture in it. This problem occurred, it was really cold, well, not really cold, but it was below freezing last night. And I had a similar issue last year that kind of corrected itself when it was similar temperatures out. <clears throat> so I didn't have another fuse to put in here, and I think it's a... 40 amp fuse the green one so what I did is I took this breaker that I had lying around and I wired it up and connected it to where the fuse goes so that I could supply power and test the system and check it out now I did run out today for a little bit but nobody where I went anyway had a, a similar fuse so step one check your fuse if your fuse is blown, the reason that I was talking about the nitrogen is I believe that my system probably had repairs, was charged with just air, which the moisture is in the air, and when it gets cold, it freezes up or thickens up and doesn't allow the proper function of the, uh, the pump and valves and so on. So I'm thinking that's why, I'm hoping that's why my fuse blew. I thought putting a breaker in here would be a good idea for this system in, in my climate because if there is a problem and I don't want to be replacing fuses every day when it's cold out so I thought the breaker would just trip protect the uh, electronics and electrical system for the air suspension and then reset when you know things cooled off a bit. So Using Alpha OBD and the MX dongle, I was able to access the system, and it was an idiotic move on my part. Replacing the fuse probably would have solved the whole thing without any further issues, but I'll show you what I had to get into. So here, when I turned on the engine or the ignition, is obviously where the message came up to service the air suspension immediately. Down here, the adjustments, the buttons, were the top one was lit, this one was out, this one was blinking, and this one was lit. So I thought, all right, we have some kind of serious issue. But as it turns out, it wasn't as serious as I feared and I tried resetting it and what they tell you to do is press both of these buttons for 40 seconds or until your dash chimes and then it will go into recalibration mode it did not do that what it did do is set a code for this button being stuck and I don't remember the code they're kind of weird it's like one five six E or something like that so I thought I had all kinds of problems, not truly the case. And then up here, they tell you to reset it by going into your 
screen, going to settings, choosing suspension, and then entering um, transport mode or wheel alignment mode. And supposedly that'll reset the system. It turns out what, for whatever reason, whether it was idiot induced, me being the idiot, or because the fuse blew, I'm not 100% sure. I blame myself when I'm not sure. But what it turned out to be in the long run was that I had to manually input the ride height for each wheel in Alpha OBD. And I'll show you that in a second. So once you've got your dongle plugged into your um, port and you've got your tablet, Android only, it doesn't work on Apple, fired up. I have my truck chosen here, suspension chosen. Now you have to select the control unit. And because mine's a 2017, I chose the air suspension control module 2013 plus power net. Not connected, no biggie, just press connect. Give it a minute, let it connect. All right, we're connected. So now what you can do if you want to review your codes is come down to the bottom and hit check. My fat fingers press the wrong button. And then read confirmed codes. And thank God, it still says no faults reported by this unit. However, if there were faults, you would click on this down arrow, and it would show you a list of the faults. I tried clearing them multiple times here, and I still had the same problem. So with the suspension connected to the um, Alpha in your tablet, and I see that glare there, and I don't know how to get rid of that. And this is tough, man. Trying to hold the camera and balance a tablet. And Anyway, select procedure to start. And you're going to want to choose right suspension, W-R-I-T-E, suspension height values. Hit start. And there's the code because it sets a code when it does this. So you have to clear the code when you're done. And this may take a little bit of time. And both fronts are 80 millimeter and both rears are 55 millimeter. So I'm not going to do it, but you would put 88 millimeter here because it's asking for the front left. You hit next, it's, you gotta be careful because the 80 is gonna stay there and it's gonna say front right. You hit next, the 80 is gonna stay there, and it, but it's gonna say left rear. So you clear that 80 and you put in 55. Hit next, you put in 55 again if it's not already there, and then you click finish. And it's gonna reset those values. And that's all there is to it. So now we're gonna go back, we're going to go to the codes. We're going to hit read confirmed faults, and it's going to be a 21 or something in there. Faults found. You see it there. And you're going to want to make sure you clear this. That's the one right there. 2212. Clear faults. It's going to ask you if your key is on. Yep. And that is... It took me a awful long time to figure this out but that's all you had to do all right making sure the engine was shut off reset the codes and we no longer have a fault our lights are illuminated the way they should be and our system says normal so hopefully this saves you guys some time money tears pain suffering tantrums you enjoy your night, and we'll talk soon. Take care.